MLB The Show has baseball for you under the lights at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, the first of this quick two-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Philadelphia Phillies. Clay Buckholz will be on the mound for the series opener. Harold, any thoughts? As you look at certain pitchers, you look at the numbers, you say, wow, he must really enjoy pitching at home. Because you look at his road numbers, he's really struggled. This is the case with him. He loves pitching at home. I think he grabs an energy from the home crowd and is able to really have a good performance. Adding second here tonight. Center Here's Jackie Bradley Jackie now. Bradley. He's coming off a big Junior. ball game last night in which he accounted for five runs batted in. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit hard on the ground towards second and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Well, that's good hitting. Oh, and oh, you want that fastball right where you're looking at it? Just take it right back at him. Nice second swing. Basement. Dustin Pedroia. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Man at first for him following the one out single. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. The 0 1 pitch. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Batting four. Here's the left fielder Hanley Ramirez. Hanley Last night Ramirez. a big one for him as he drove in six runs. Hit hard towards center. And a base hit as the run will come in to score and that gives the Red Sox a one nothing lead. Well, Matt, two things for me come out of that base hit right there. One, he gets the two-out RBI, drives in the run, and it gives him a lead early. And anytime you get that lead early, it just relaxes the pitcher and allows your guy to pitch his game a little bit better. There goes Hanley for second. Pitches a cold strike. The th and it's not going to be in time as Ramirez has himself a stolen base. He's set. Here's the 0-1. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Ranging back is Herrera. Gone! Yeah, you never want to give up anything in the first inning, but to go down 3-0, it's just painful. Can't afford any more early mistakes, or the hole's going to be too deep to climb out of. Andrew so striding Benintendi. forward now, Andrew Benintendi. And with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some rookie of the year hardware if he can keep it up. First offering on its way. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. Here's Xander Bogarts now as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. He swings and crushes it. Oh, my, there is no doubt about this one. And they've done it again. Back to back to back home runs. This pitcher must think he's cursed or something. He gives up back-to-back -back homers, is obviously rattled a little bit, and the next batter barely even waits Batting for the eight. first pitch to cross the plate before he crushes it out, too. This is incredible. Digging in the switch hitter, Blake Swihart. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. Gone! Open up the record books. Back-to-back-to-back. To back home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field. Home run number 44 Howdy on the year. The as they pile on, it's now six to Rick nothing. Porcello. Standing in now, Rick Porcello. He swings and grounds it to short. Go in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. They strike here for six runs, as in fact they knock the opposing pitching around for four home runs in that half inning alone. Rick Porcello, a right-hander from the Garden Philly. State of New Jersey, gets Second the ball here. Run. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hernandez. Well, as you can see, he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. 
that can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane and you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key, though, is that he has to be out front with his release point or he'll be more likely to miss up in the zone. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Dan Plesak, who are you focused on? Well, if you're on the mound, you better be careful with Michael Franco. He leads the team in the two most important power categories for me, home runs and RBIs, driving in guys and being able to drive yourself in. He's an impressive hitter, and it should be fun watching him do his thing in this one. Now a foul tip at the plate, and you can hear that one ring off the catcher's mask as he stays alive. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in a one-two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. Third. Here's the center fielder, center fielder Odubel Herrera. Odubel. He begins this Herrera. one with the fourth best batting average in the National League. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half. Here's Mookie Betts. He'll lead things hey, off the as they look to perhaps build on an already Mookie sizable lead. Betts. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Well, that's the sixth game he's hit, and he's swinging back yeah, pretty good now. That's a six-game yeah, streak. you got to start yeah, somewhere. Pay attention, people. He's getting hot. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. And now the runner's trying for third. Here's the 0 and 2. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Another multi hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the Not league leaders in hitting. And as you can see, he currently ranks second in the AL in that department. First pitch coming. Here it is. The pitch, a fastball off his glove, and it bounds away. So he moves all the way up to third here. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. In the score, the runner from third. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Well, we've already had some hard hit balls in the first two innings here. And show. here's another one. Very Absolutely safe, jumped off his Henry bat Ramirez. and into the outfield, bringing another run home here in the early going. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Pedroia rounds third and is digging for the plate. And not in time as the run scores. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Sean Burnett is going to come on in relief now. And he may be asked to eat several innings as this game is just still really getting underway. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hard ground ball to third. And that's through into left to base hit. Ramirez is on his way home. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. May get 9 nothing. Digging in to try it again. Andrew Benintendi. He went deep in his first at bat. And we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. In time as he just gets the tag down. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. 60 home runs on the season. You know when you start getting that area, everybody starts talking about Babe Ruth. He did, after all, set the standard for those 60 home run seasons. This is really 
impressive stuff. Swing and a liner. But this is foul near the seats. These Phillies, Harold, as they enter play here tonight, they come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. His second of the game as this lead got even wider. You know what? If this guy didn't have the MVP wrapped up already, he certainly does now. That's his 50th home run of the year. And he's already reached that mark in stolen bases. That puts him in the 50-50 club. We're watching history here, folks. Catcher. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher, Blake Swihart. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. So a two-out knock, and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second. Well, that's a big hit right there. So often the overlooked, pitcher, but what 22. it does, even if he doesn't get Brent a hit here, Marcello. the pitcher that is, now the pitcher's not leading off the next inning. You get the pitcher to the plate right now. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. Line to left. And that's going to get down out there. Swihart rounds the corner and is headed home. And to score the runner from second. Well, you never want to give up a hit to an opposing pitcher. But when you give one up to an AL pitcher, it's downright annoying. Can't let it get to you, though. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Line towards center field. Pereira is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. But digging in, Michael Franco Leading looking for better coming. results than last yeah, night when he went one. 0 for 4 in that Mike one. Hell. First pitch Franco. hacking here, and that's the first strike. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Curveball that time, not even close. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. I like the pitch right there. Two-strike fastball out of the zone, see if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time, see if he chases it again. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. All right, time for him to adjust his defensive best. alignment for the right Red Sox. Fielder. And I'm Michael. looking down at third base, yeah, Pablo under. Sandoval. You know, he's an interesting story. When he first came up, I don't know many people realized he was a catcher. Then they converted him to third base because he had those cat-like reflexes that could cover everything. He's got a little slower as he's gotten older, but there's still a little genie in the bottle. Let's see if he can open. There's Sandoval. Throw on to first, and Porcello's looking good here. Two away. Batting six. Left fielder, Howie. At the plate, Howie Kendrick. And this is a good-looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right-handers this season. Bases are empty here with two men out. And there's a swing and a miss by Kendrick as he falls behind now 0-2. He's really throwing the ball well in this game. And the thing to me that stands out is that two-seamer. He's got great movement, and he's keeping hitters off balance with it. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. And Pedroia will make the catch, and the inning is over. Place down in order. Just about given up for dead. It's 12 to nothing. Leading off for the Red Sox. Center fielder. Striding in once Jackie again, Jackie Bradley, Bradley Jr. Jr. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. First offering on its way. He pulls this one into right. A dive, but he can't come up with it in right as it skips right past him. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Well, unfortunately, being close isn't quite good enough most of the time. Love the effort in the outfield, and he was close to making that play, but instead it's a double. That's a risky play, though. Could have been a lot worse than a double. From the stretch, Dustin Pedroia is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. For Bradley, 
That's 44 doubles on the year as he continues to drive the baseball. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone! So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. First baseman, Henley Ramirez. Here's Henley Ramirez. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. Ramirez will head for second. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. You throw a ball down the middle, you better start ducking right when you release it. He took it right back at him. Hit it where it's thrown. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Pablo Sandoval. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. I know he's a confident pitcher, but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup a straight heater, and it cost him big time. Dalier Inofosa is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick, but... How about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball equivalent of a hat trick. And that's awfully hard to do. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Rip down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. I'm set with the 0-1. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Saunders racing back. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Next the, the more Red things Sox. change, the more Captain. they stay the same. Blake. This guy's been Swipe producing at the plate all year long, and this at bat is no different. He's probably surprised it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having, but he'll just have to settle for a double. This is pulled into right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. The pitcher, number 22. Digging Rick in once again, Porcello. Rick Porcello. And a chance to pile on here. Five runs already in and a good shot at making it six. He's set. Here it comes. Line hard into left. In there. Base hit. And that ought to get the run in from third. Man, he turned on that fastball right there. Ripped the line drive and scored the oh, run easy. Right fielder, Mookie Betts. Here's Mookie Betts. Now, oh, this is lined into left field for a base hit. First pitch hitting. If you get the pitch you want and you know he's going to deliver it, you can't Up miss it. Right that was a great swing. Center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Matt, he's thrown two pitches right down the middle and got away with them. I don't think he should go back there again, but he's got to locate a little bit better. If he wants. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance, but not quite enough as it's off the center field wall. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. Tried to make it home when he shouldn't have, and now they've got him hung up. A tag for one. And now the tag is applied. It's a double play, and the side is retired. All Stepping into the box, Cameron Rupp. Seven, eight, and Leading nine to start the home third. Catcher. Not much going on offensively Cameron. so far for Rupp. these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. 
Striding in, Daniel Nava. And he's looking to turn the page. The bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. A pause and the 0-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now in the box, Dyer Inohosa. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. In there at the knees, strike one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control, 0-2. 0-2 count, here's the pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now batting. Cesar Hernandez swings and misses Cesar. there, so he's down 0 and 1. Porcello sets coming at him with the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Don't speed up. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Leading off for Boston, second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Gone to lead off the inning. Boy, when the leading MVP candidate steps into the box, I'm not sure it's wise to challenge him, especially with a pitch like this. But they do, and he makes them pay for their mistake. He's been doing this all year long. Out in front as this is drilled into left field. That's a base hit. Well, Matty jumped on that first pitch after the home run. It's a line drive for a base hit. I was always a little reluctant to get in the box after you gave up a home run, thinking he might dust me right here. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Pablo Sandoval already a pair of long balls on his line in this one. So we'll see what else he has in store here. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. The 0-1 pitch. Hey. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. For Ramirez, that's now 53 steals for him on the season. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Kendrick on the move, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Found himself down 0-2 in the count and then got a gift. After going away, away, he left one in the middle. Nice job of battling, staying alive in the count and getting a pitch to handle. Andrew Benintendi will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. The runner scores from second. Looked like the outfielder might have thought that was just going to be a long fly out. I know I did too, but it carries farther than anybody thought and all the way off the wall. And by the time he realizes it, it's too late and he's got a clutch RBI triple. But quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit and there's one gone. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher Blake Swihart. Three runs already home and a potential fourth standing at third base. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. Now batting. Digging Edward. in now, Rick, Rick Porcello. Porcello. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Line drive to center field. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win games, and he's a big part of it right here. That's his third RBI, and they extend the lead in this ballgame. Ready for another chance? Mookie Betts. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kendrick moves over. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across Leading four runs. The here in the fourth. And this is fouled back and out of play. Man, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. 
Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Here's the center fielder Odubel Herrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In there for strike one 0 and 1. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Foul back. Wow he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Hard hit at third. On to first and there were two down. Third baseman number seven. Michael Franco. Coming to the plate now. Michael Franco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Well Matt they've been real aggressive taking swings early in the count. But you're losing in this game so you got to make an adjustment. You got to start taking pitches and maybe working the pitch a little bit more. If it's not working being aggressive. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley is there. And the inning is over. Three up three down for Philadelphia. And they remain well well behind. Joaquin Benoit gets the call to pitch here and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble and that's off the left field wall Bradley with wheels headed for second and the Red Sox have something going it's a leadoff double boy and they have not been able to get him out this is now a five hit ball game for him here and those don't come along every day. Here's the second baseman now Dustin Pedroia. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Here's the left fielder, Hanley oh, Ramirez. Very He's looking man. for hit number Hanley five in this Ramirez. one right here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Pereira ranging back. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And they get the double play at third. One hits all they get. Last half of the. Here's Michael Saunders now. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break Leaving through on the scoreboard Philly. for the first time in this right. one. Yeah, there. baseball is a game of Michael. adjustments, and it's time they start Thunder. making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Another 0 2 home. Hot shot to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide! It's there, he got him. Now batting left fielder. Howie Here's Howie Kendrick, Kendrick comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Down the first baseline to his left Ramirez and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting at the Kendrick. plate Cameron Ruff Cameron. two away in the Ruff. inning and Dan it looks like this could be another one two three inning for him. Yeah he has really found a groove on the mound and it's been a and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the end. Pablo Sandoval will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. Well, the ball's been flying all over the place this game, but most of the fireworks have come from him. That's his third long ball. What a game. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Pereira ranging back. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. 
Here's Xander Bogarts now. Two home runs and a double to his credit thus far, having quite the game. And now pitch on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. That's a big pitch right there. It could change the at bat. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to who's going to control this at bat. Right now, pitcher's got the advantage. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Up next for the Red Sox. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher, Blake Swihart. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Line drive to center field. And he will run this one down as he pulls it in around the letters in the inning. One run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors, and Leading no one left. Daniel Nava is at the plate now, and he's quickly Nava. behind 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding him on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out Your yet. Andres please. Blanco will and move into the on-deck circle now to try to get... Number four, Andres Blanco. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Bradley is there. Two gone. Now batting. Second baseman. Cesar Hernandez. Digging in once again. Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. And the Panda will put this one away. Inning over. Phillies down in order. And as you can see, they are way behind. Michael Marriott enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Michael Ready for another shot now. Rick Porcello. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Swing and a liner. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. When you've got the pitcher leading off an inning, you have to feel pretty confident about getting the first out without much problems. But the pitcher with a bat in his hands had other ideas. Put some solid wood on it and found himself on second with a leadoff double. Here's Mookie Betts. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. The 0-1 pitch. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field, and this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number 69 as he creeps closer as they just continue to pour it on here. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Here's Jackie Bradley now, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, he was out early working on that swing and batting practice, just taking it right back at the pitcher, right off the L screen. You eliminate that screen. It's just taking it from the practice field to the game. Nice job. Bradley runs. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And in fact, there will be no throw as he loses the handle there on the transfer. Here comes the 0-1. Here's a swing now by Pedroia as he sends this one in the air to deep left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. One more time. He gets a pitch to handle. You've heard that before. 
And you can add one more home run onto this already impressive number. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Four hits already in this one and looking for number five here. Sharp ground ball to third. There is Franco. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Man, this is a perfect summary of how the game has gone for him. They haven't been able to hit, catch, or throw all game long. In fact, they should just throw a 10 over this thing because this has become a three-ring circus. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. And it's not going to be in time as Ramirez has himself a stolen base. Comes set, and the 0-1. Swing and a liner but a foul ball. Ready with the 0-2. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Pereira ranging back. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And the runner from second is in to score. And would you believe it? It's a triple to give him the cycle. Riding in once again, Andrew Benintendi. He, of course, has launched three balls over the fence in this one and possibly looking for number four here. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. Four home runs in the game. Now, there's some guys that have done it, and it is an impressive feat. But I remember Josh Hamilton's four home runs in Baltimore one night. That was incredible. Well, this fits right there. Four home runs in one game, something he will never forget. Throw on to first, and they're finally able to get on the board here. There's one away. Ready for another chance? Blake Swihart. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Mine to the right side. Again, a nice clean base hit, his third of the game. Well, this is his third hit of the game. He has been absolutely pitcher, on fire. 22. I think they got to start thinking about maybe walking him when they see him come to the plate. Into the box, Rick Porcello. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. The 0-1. And that's through into left, a base hit. Throw comes in to third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. Not this is it. now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Into the box now, Mookie Betts. He gets it hard on the ground to the left, and just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Digging in and looking for more, Jackie, Jackie Bradley Jr. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Now here's a drive out to right center field. And he will make it back to second and be content with holding on there. He just scorched that ball 15. off the wall, and now the Second question will be, That's should he have continued to on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time... Oh, and now, meanwhile, this ball is cranked out to straightaway center field, and this one is going to leave the yard. It's a home run. Yeah, you've heard the saying, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, that was the case here. Base is loaded. Facing the best power hitter in the lineup, and he showed why he is so feared. He knocked it out of here with a vengeance. Oh, he was geared up for that pitch. He got what he wanted. He just got out in front of it. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. No, they don't, but I tell you what, he's been working hard. He's been locked in right now. Just his approach. You knew he was going to have a good day. Five hits. Wow. Line drive to left, and Kendrick squeezes it for out number two. 
And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Andrew Benintendi will stand in yet again, and he's looking for history now. We take you back to his last home run. This was his fourth of the ball game, and it needn't be said that five in a game has never been done before. Oh, one pitch on its way. Now a ball hit to center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder way back, and that ball is... Two-run shot to straightaway center, his fifth in this game, as the blowout continues. The fifth home run of the game for him? Wow, we will never see this again. This is history in the making. Five home runs in the game. And he's had five great swings, too, with these homers. And it's in time at first, and finally, at long last, the side is retired. But not it's before they pick the up a couple of touchdowns here. Is Stepping into the box, Freddie Galvis. He leads off Leading this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a Not good bad. pitch to hit are way Better worse. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you see there, that number has him tied for second in the AL in that category. Odubel Herrera is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw in time at first for route number two. Third baseman, number seven, Michael Franco. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Franco. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Fouled back. Two out, nobody on. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Here's another 0-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Calling for it, Sandoval. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And they remain well, well behind. Ready once again, Blake Swihart. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. High in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. And that's the first out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Rick Porcello. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. So the lineup car turns over with one away following the base hit out of the pitcher's spot. Here's Mookie Betts. He's been scorching hot at the plate in this one. Four hits, including a big fly thus far. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone, and that's exactly what he gets right here. A belt high pitch, he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. Hard liner toward short. That's in there. Base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And the second run will score as well. And not to take any credit away from the hitter on this arm. 
RBI base knock. But I think it's clear this reliever is running on empty at this point. We were just discussing it, and now he serves up a good pitch to hit. He's given a good effort out there, but he's worked harder than he's used to, and I don't think he has anything left. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. A one count. Here's the pitch. Drilled right back up the middle. Fielded by Galvis. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. How about it? Digging in. Hanley Ramirez. Hanley Ramirez. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. And now a swing here by Ramirez as he sends this one high in the air out to deep left field. Out of here and by a long ways. A monstrous three-run home run. Well, there's an old saying that the harder you throw, the farther it goes. How about this? Good fastball, and this ball is absolutely tattooed. See you later. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Pereira going back on it. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. How about it? Ready now, Andrew Benintendi. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. Hard hit ball to second. Played on the backhand. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while. Here's Michael Saunders now. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed Leading out there on the mound. Point. Well, I've been very right impressed with how the starter's going about his Michael. business, Matt. He's looked really Thunder. sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that Here's early up. lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. He's feeling it out there on the mound, Three. just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. You froze him on the fastball there. Michael Saunders becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth there. inning. Howie Kendrick. Here's Howie Kendrick. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. In there, 0 and 1. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. He hasn't used that pitch much this game. That's one he's been working on the bullpen, and now he's brought it into the game. If he's able to incorporate that in his stuff, look out. Another 0-2 coming. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Swihart gathers, and he makes the throw to first. Kendrick is retired two down now. Patrick Cameron. Into the windup and the pitch. Cameron Rupp. Stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. You know what I've been impressed with? He's really used that fastball to his advantage, and he's recognized the fact he's throwing it. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Back at the home of the Phillies, Citizens Bank Park, as you get a look there at the famous City Hall here in Philadelphia. Hector Neris will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Now Ryan Hennigan will also come number on now as he'll move into the pitcher's Ryan number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Pereira is there one quick out to start inning number nine. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes and it is. Well, he's as hot as anybody in the game right now, hitting a homer yesterday and two more today. They need to rethink whatever strategy they're using to pitch to him because he's killing them. Swing and a liner. In time to first, and there are two away. Stepping in, Mookie Betts. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Hard liner to center field. That gets down and the inning continues. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Well, I tell you, Matt, right there, man, that, that was an interesting play because the defense is playing so Jackie deep. They're playing no Bradley doubles. I just feel like if they were in at a normal depth, they would have caught that ball. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Two out here and a runner at second.
hit hard back up the middle. Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. And the run is in to score from second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. There's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. And can he do it again? Four home runs already under his belt, looking for number five. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. The runner from second crosses the plate. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Man, it's like deja vu all over again. Two well hit back-to-back -back doubles that bring in a run. This one ends up going off the wall, and it looks like they've got a pretty good idea of what this guy's trying to do to them out there. Definitely getting some good swings against him. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Well, I love when guys are aggressive with the runner scoring position. First pitch, he jumps all over to drive in the run. Here's the panda now, Pablo Sandoval. And incredibly, he does so with eight RBIs to his credit in this game alone. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And the runner is in from second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing. And now, meanwhile, here's a ball headed out to a deep left center field. And this is going to clear the wall. Man, he should have put a bow on that pitch because it was an absolute gift. You can see that he caught too much of the plate and the hitter caught too much of the ball. Sayonara. See you next time. Hit hard towards center. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Bogarts will head for second. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher, Blake Swihart. Great game for him so far. Four hits, including a couple of home runs. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Around third is Bogarts heading for the plate. And the runner will score from second. And he'll make it in there with a two-out double. Comes to the plate with the runner in scoring position. He swung at that first pitch early. Kind of ambushed him. I don't think the pitcher expected him to swing that first pitch. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit to third. Franco has it. And it's in time at first. And hallelujah. The beginning for him, though, as they bat around and score eight times to open up this Leading lead even the further. Of the night for the Phillies. First Hard hit ball to short. Scooped up on the backhand. And a rather easy first out. Stepping into the box, Ryan Hennigan, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. Popped high in the air. Bogarts is there for it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Up next for Philadelphia, second baseman, Cesar. A little tapper. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. The batter, the shortstop, ready, Alvin. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0 and 2. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, you could feel the electricity in the air when the ninth inning started. Everyone could feel how close to history we were, but he gives up a hit and loses the no-hit bid. Man, that hurts. He's just got to shake it off now and enjoy this one hitter just the same. Great effort either way. Tons of runs in this one. Rick Porcello records his.